Now, if you want to verify you have full roots, go ahead and download the free Titanium Backup app, hit open, and boom shakalaka. Hey guys, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to root the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus on the latest Android 9.0 Pi. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alright guys, so first thing you're going to check is that you have a model that's supported. Now this is available for all the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus on the Exynos International model. Um, you can go ahead and check this by going to settings, going to about phone. Your model number should say SMG950FD, alright, just like that. Or if you have a Galaxy S8 Plus, it should say SMG955FD. Anything with G950F or anything with G955F, you should be good to go. Also, it does work on Qualcomm so long as you have an unlocked model, which is the Chinese models. Most likely, the model number is going to be SMG9500 or SMG9550. All right, for the S8 Plus. If you don't have those models, if you have a US model that ends in SMG 950U or 955U, you cannot root your phone, all right? Go ahead and sell that model and get the Exynos version if you want full root. All right, after that, go into software information. Make sure you have Android version 9. You'll most likely have it if you updated phone to the latest firmware. All right, latest OTA. All right, if you have the correct Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, we are ready to go. You will also need a Windows computer. If you don't have one, go borrow your friend's Windows computer. You can go ahead and buy an old Windows computer netbook for like a hundred bucks on eBay. All right, next, go ahead and hit the build number about five times. It will say developer mode has been turned on. All right, uh, once that's done, go ahead and hit the back button twice. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see developer options. Go ahead and tap on that and make sure OEM unlocking is checked on. Now with the latest Pi update and also the older uh, Oreo, Samsung has implemented seven day jail on certain devices. So if you don't see this, go ahead and wait seven days, come back and you will see OEM unlocking. Another way to hack around it is go ahead and grab a Nuket bootloader for your model of Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. You can go ahead and actually boot with a Nuket bootloader on Oreo or Pi. Um, you can go ahead and flash that, which will allow you to actually bypass this. All right, for purposes of this video, I'm not going to show you how to do that. Maybe I'll have a video on that. You could actually bypass all this jail stuff by simply flashing the Nougat bootloader. Now, when you hit this button, um, if you're signed into Google and Samsung, it might ask you to do a factory reset. All right, that will erase everything on your phone. Now, before you hit yes, which will actually reboot your phone, um, go ahead and be ready to hold down, volume down, Bixby and the power, all right? So if it asks you to do that, um, hit that button and immediately hold down, volume down, uh, Bixby and power. All right, we're gonna just imagine. And also if you don't see that, if you have OEM unlocking like, like that, you can also just hold down, volume down, Bixby. Oops, ah, let me take this out. Take the case out, sometimes it's hard to press. Just go ahead and hold down. Uh, for everybody, it's gonna be volume down, Bixby and power. And if it's asking you to reset, you're gonna hold down, after you hit that, you're gonna hold down volume down, Bixby and power. This will also automatically reset your phone and put you into download mode, all right? So I'm gonna do that and go ahead and keep holding it down. And when you see the warning sign, let go of the buttons immediately. All right, go ahead and hit the volume up key that will put you in the download mode. And we're gonna go ahead and connect a cable from your phone to your computer. Now let's go to our computer. You're going to need to download Majisk V18.1, Samsung USB, Odin, also no verify OPT encrypt, RMM state bypass, that's five files, and also one of these. Now this one here is the Galaxy S8 Dream LTE. This Dream 2 LTE is for Galaxy S8. Um, Dream Q LTE, this is for the Qualcomm Galaxy S8, the Chinese uh, Qualcomm, and also you'll need Dream 2Q LTE, IMG.tar. Um, that is for the Galaxy S8 Plus Qualcomm. You can go ahead and download all of this. Um, go into highonandroid.com, and if you go under Routing, go to Odin and Drivers, you'll be able to find Odin and Samsung Drivers. Go ahead and click on that. Um, you come to the download page. Go ahead and scroll down where it says Download here. Um, go ahead and wait and Go ahead and click on click here to download. 
that will download the files, all right? That's how you download the files. Don't click on the ads. Go ahead and also download the Samsung USB drivers. All right, and then also you'll need Magisk, so go under Rooting, go to Magisk and Super SU, and go ahead and download the Magisk V18.1, all right? And also you'll need to download uh, down here, Samsung Root Tools. Go ahead and download the no verify opt encrypt.zip. And also you'll need to download RMM State Bypass zip, all right? Next, go ahead and go to Rooting, go into Torp Recovery, and you'll be able to find the correct Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus Torp Recovery. Mine is an SMG950FD, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. All right. So once you have all the files downloaded, um, you should have, like I said, one, two, three, four, five, and one of these six files total. Now, for all the zip files, leave them as it is, and also go ahead and double click the Odin um, 3 file and go ahead and extract all. And this will extract into a folder called Odin3 underscore v3.13.1. Go ahead and go in there and go ahead and double click on Odin3 blah blah dot exe. Now you should see a blue highlighted box like this with a random com number. If you don't see this, go back to your download folder and go ahead and double click on the Samsung USB driver. Go ahead and run that and unplug your USB cable and replug it back into your phone and you should be able to see that. You should be good to go. Next, you're gonna go ahead and choose AP. You're gonna go to download and you're gonna go ahead and choose the Torp recovery file you downloaded. Now the correct one for me is this one, the Dream LTE. Let me go ahead and change this to, um, um, this is for the Galaxy S8 that I have. So I'm gonna hit open. Now very, very important, as soon as you hit start, the screen is going to go off and you're going to go ahead and boot into Torp by holding down volume up, big speed and power. Like you're going to hit it immediately. All right. Watch this video like five times before you do it because people always mess up. So I'm going to hit start. And as soon as the screen goes off, I'm going to go ahead and hold down volume up, big speed and power immediately, just like that. And this will boot you right into Torp recovery and let go of all the buttons. Now, if you don't do this right, your phone will boot and you may have to redo this whole process. Go ahead and tap on um, keep read only and we're gonna go ahead and wipe everything. So go into wipe and go into format data and say yes. This will erase everything on your phone, all right? If at this point you wanna save anything, back up anything, stop and go back, reboot your phone and save everything. But this will erase everything. Go ahead and erase everything. All right, go ahead and hit the home button, go to reboot menu and choose recovery. Very important, hit do not install. This is because you don't want the system to boot before we flash uh, the OEM uh, jail uh, unblock. All right, go ahead and tap on keep read only. Oops, there we go. All right, next go back to your downloads folder and you're gonna go ahead and copy all of these files. You're gonna go ahead and copy Magisk, hold down the uh, control key and also no verify encrypt and also our MM state bypass. Do a right click, oops, let me do that again. Do a right click copy. All right, go to your Galaxy S8. It should have connected as internal storage. Go ahead and right click and paste. All right, this will copy all the files. Let's go back to our phone. You don't need your USB cable anymore. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and do install and you're gonna go ahead and choose no verify OPT encrypt. This will decrypt your phone. All right, this way, when you reboot into Torp, you can go ahead and flash new zip files. All right, hit the back button. Um, go ahead and choose RMM state bypass Mesa V2. Go ahead and do that. This will get rid of the OEM block. All right, hit the back button. And you're gonna go ahead and flash Magisk V18.1. And this will root your phone. All right, when this is done, you should be fully rooted and your phone should go back to welcome screen and you should have a fully rooted Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. All right, you can go ahead and reboot your system now. Hit do not install, cross your fingers. If it boots, you're good to go. And boom shaka. All right, let it boot, sign in, and you should have fully rooted Galaxy S8, S8 Plus uh, with Magisk, V18.1, and you'll be able to high root 
Now, you don't have to update Majisk. It'll ask you to, you don't have to update it. Some people are so super paranoid about updating. I don't actually update my Majisk ever, unless there's like major features uh, announced. Remember, don't break what's not broken, all right? Um, usually these updates, they don't really include any new features. So if it ain't broke, I would just not update it, all right? It's sort of different from apps. Apps, maybe they give you new features, but with Majisk, I don't recommend updating. If it's working, just let it work. All right, once booted up, just go ahead and sign in. Let me go ahead and sign in real quick. All right, so once signed in, if you don't see Majisk, and this happens with the Samsung Pi, um, you will have to reflash Majisk. So this is really easy. Just go ahead and power off. And we're going to go ahead and hold down volume up, center home, and power. That's how you get into torque recovery. Go ahead and keep holding it down for a few more seconds. And let go when you see the torque recovery button. Hit keep read only. Oops. Go to install. Go to download. Oops. Go ahead and copy over the Majisk file over again because it got deleted. And I'm just gonna copy it over real quick. And now you should be able to install it. Let me go ahead and install the Majisk v18.1. Confirm to flash. Reboot and you should be good to go. Reboot system, do not install. Now with the newer Samsung Android 9.0 Pi, you do have to flash Majisk twice. I once reboot it, give it a second. If you sit, still don't see Majisk, which can't happen, go into, go to, uh, go to highonandroid.com. And you'll have to install Majisk Manager APK manually. So I'm going to go into the menu. Go under Rooting and go into Majisk and Super SU. And go ahead and find Download Majisk Manager APK. All right, and go ahead and go down to Download here. Um, click here to download. Continue, allow, and they should download. If it doesn't download for some reason, do a long long press and just say download link or tap on download link and hit okay. Sorry, sorry for the workaround, but sometimes this happens where it the uh, Magist Manager, you have to install it manually. If you do see it, then you don't have to do this step. But go ahead and install. And finally, we have Magist Manager working and we should be fully rooted. Now for the Galaxy uh, S9, it all automatically installed, but it didn't install in this case. So we installed it manually and boom shakalaka. If you see both check marks, you're good to go. Now, if you want to hide root from apps, um, they're detecting root, go into Majisk Hide and choose any apps that you want to hide root. Now, if you want to verify you have full root, go ahead and download the free Titanium Backup app, hit open and Boom shakalaka. Yeah. Uh, if you see this, you have a fully rooted Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, hit grant, and you're good to go. Uh, anyway, hit the thumbs up for me if you enjoy this video or if you use this video to root your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, it should work. And yeah, have a great day. And as always, stay <laughs> unrooting. Just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe.